Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I am going to show you how to hang a flat screen TV on the wall. I'm also going to show you how to move your electrical outlet up the wall so it's hidden behind the television and your cable line as well. So stay tuned friends and I'll show you how we get this done. Okay, first of all, let's run over the materials and the tools that you'll need to do this project. First of all, you'll need a wall mount kit, okay? It'll come with a bracket that will attach to the wall, and it will also come with the bracketry that attaches to your television. It will come with a whole bunch of different screws, and you'll find the ones in the kit that'll fit your television, so you can mount these pieces to your TV. Um, let's move on over here. Now, for doing the electrical part of it, we have some 14 gauge uh, wire here that we're gonna use to uh, run the wiring inside of the wall. We've got a new outlet box here and it's got the little flip tabs on it. So you can just cut the hole in the sheetrock and then you'll, uh, it will actually flip the tabs out and hold this box within the sheetrock. You don't have to worry about nailing into a stud because of course you can't do that with uh, sheetrock on the wall. Got a new outlet for that box. And for our cable, we have these little uh, uh, things that install into the wall. You cut the hole out of the sheetrock as well and they got flip tabs on them too so that you can run your um, cable inside your wall and then you have these little coax uh, cable wall plates we'll install one down low on the wall and one up high so all the cable will be inside the wall as well now uh, some of the tools that you will need you'll need a uh, possibly a cordless impact for uh, screwing in your big bolts here that hold the uh, bracket to the wall you'll need a drill cordless drill to pre-drill you'll need a little electrical checker here so that um you can plug it into a wall and go flip all your breakers off to make sure you uh, have cut the power off to the outlet that you're going to work on you'll need a little saw maybe and a knife utility knife to cut the uh, sheetrock out of course you'll need a hammer uh, a stud finder a couple screwdrivers i got a couple i got a number two and a number three phillips head screw and i've got a two foot level here also, I have a set of drill bits because we'll need to pick a drill bit to pre-drill for these holes. So let's get on back here and get started and we'll show you how we do this thing. Okay, figure out the general area that you do want your uh, um, television on the wall. Uh, this is actually going in my daughter's room. Um, she wants it kind of high up on the wall. Now we've already located a stud here, okay? And all a stud finder is doing is just finding the nail head that whoever nailed the sheetrock on the wall, you know, wherever they nailed the nail. Could have been on the edge of the stud, we don't know. Here's a way of finding out. Take yourself like a little four penny nail, and I've already dr uh, driven it through the sheetrock. See right there, I'm going all the way through sheetrock, so I know I'm, on the, I'm not on the stud there. Right there, I'm on the stud. I'm on the edge of the stud. So I went back on this side, and I knocked a couple holes here until I found the edge of the stud, see right there. So I eyeballed it, made sure my mark, actually the nail was just about exactly where it should have been. So right here is the middle of that stud because we don't wanna be on the edge of the stud when we go to install those uh, big bolts because they'll actually split out the side of the stud. It won't hold very well. So we're dead on the money. We've already taken a level and we have leveled ourselves a lot. So let's go ahead and get this bracket pre-drilled and mounted. Okay, we've held our bracket up against the wall and we've taken a pencil and we have circled in between the uh, holes in the bracket in which we want to drill. So right there on that line, we want to go ahead and pre-drill a couple holes. That we're using here is the screws that come with the kit it's a coarse thread wood screw, wood screw probably about two and a half inches long and we're using a washer behind it we've already got one started right there we're going to go ahead and install the lower one and tighten them down and we'll use the level on top to make sure we get this thing nice and level now with the bracket bolts uh, held just slightly snug we're putting our level up here and we're checking for level top and bottom and it's looking pretty good, so we're going to grab the uh, impact and finish tightening these two bolts down. Okay, friends, we've got our television laid out on the table here, and we've got our bracketry laid out. And what we're going to do here, we've already chosen out of the kit 
uh, the type of screws that we need and the length of them, okay? Because we are going to use the little spacers that come with the kit that spaces the bracket just a little bit off of the TV. Gives you a little bit more room to reach up in here if you want to make like an adjustment on the angle and everything. Because this is a tilt type um, hanger for this uh, television. But one thing you always want to do, you want to test it, you want to finger tight one of the screws um, into the TV. And then just hold your spacer up here to make sure that the spacer is at least long enough to where you don't like you know, run, run the screw so far in that you could damage the TV. So just test each one of them, just run one into each, uh, each one of the holes to make sure. So when you put everything together, it doesn't actually damage the television. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right quick and we'll get this uh, bracket attached. And we also want to, once we confirm that, we'll put a flat washer underneath the head of this uh, bolt as well before we go into our bracket. And one other thing I will show you with a lot of these brackets, you have several different adjusting holes here. And what I like to do is have it have my pivot point somewhere in the center of the TV. It just seems to work a little better that way. But as you see, you can move it wherever you need to. I mean, you got several different holes to choose from here, but I'm choosing one here that will uh, put, my put my pivot point somewhere in the center. Okay, we have our brackets installed to the TV, but we haven't tightened them down yet. Notice that you have a little bit of movement here. So what I would recommend is just pushing these straight up toward the top of the TV, and then take your Phillips head bit and tighten them down. Do that to both sides, and you will be ready to hang your TV up. Now notice on some of these brackets, you have like this little cable that hangs down. This is your little spring-loaded release mechanism, okay? That uh, you wanna have that facing down so that if you ever do need to take the TV off, it's real easy to get to. Okay, folks, hey, we got the television hung and it's looking pretty good, it looks a lot nice and level. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove it and then we'll go ahead and get the outlet uh, moved up the wall and the cable box as well. So let's get started on that. Now, friends, with our TV removed, I have decided that I want my outlet about in this general area right here above the uh, TV mount. And I want my cable connection right here on this side of the stud here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole for those boxes in each one, and we'll run the 14 gauge wire down this wall, and we will tie, tie into this outlet right here. Now notice I have my little checker plugged in here, and it's lighting up right now. I'm gonna go out and flip some breakers to where I do not have power on this before I start messing with this outlet, okay? And on the other side, we'll simply install our cable line up high. We'll come down and down low close to the baseboard probably about three inches up we will uh, cut a hole in here install the other box and we'll be able to simply just plug our cable into here and the rest of the cable will be hidden behind the sheetrock so let's go ahead and get started on that now with our sheetrock marked off where we want to go ahead and cut our holes for our boxes we're going to go ahead and start doing that as well and down here on our outlet we've already pulled our outlet out and we've started running up our new piece of uh, 14 gauge wire so let me get these cut out and then we will get this wire run and this cable run and hopefully have this wrapped up shortly. Now with the holes cut out and the wires already run, we're ready to start putting in our boxes and making some connections. Now on the cable side here, you can see our cables run through the wall, sticking out down through the bottom. And we'll go ahead and put in the little low voltage, um, um, box and then of course after that you'll put in your wall plate and it's simple you know you basically just screw uh the end of the cable onto the back of that and then screw that down to your to your box so that's pretty simple on that side now the other side we're actually making electrical connections um i will go into a little bit of detail on that when we do it uh, but if you don't feel comfortable doing electrical connections, maybe you might want to get an electrician to take care of that for you. But I will try to best explain that the best way I can when we make the connections. So let's get These little low voltage boxes are so easy, okay? You just stick them into place and you take your Phillips head screwdriver and you tighten these two screws down and it kicks these little ears out to where it pinches it in between the sheetrock. Okay, with the low voltage uh, boxes in place, we have screwed on our cable wall plate. And all we have to do now is 
hold them up here and install the two Phillips head screws and we're done. Okay, cable wall plates are both installed. It's time to move on over now and we'll go ahead and get this uh, wire tied into our old outlet. Okay, friends, hey, we're getting ready to make our connection down here on our outlet, okay? And as you can see, <clears throat> we have four wires going into this outlet already and because uh, they've already spliced off of this to probably go to another outlet. And they used all the push pins on the back. Everything looks like it's uh, connected good. So we're going to just continue to use the same outlet. Now here's our new wires, okay? I've already skinned them back and I've uh, hooked a little hook on the end of it. The black wire we will be hooking on this side of the uh, outlet on the hot side. We'll just put it underneath that screw head right there, tighten it down. Neutral wire, we will be hooking up right here on the other side where the other two neutral wires are hooked up. And our ground wire down here on the outlet, we're going to go and take that loose and we're going to twist our um, ground wire around that wire and install this little um, <clears throat> copper crimp. And we will crimp that nicely and then we will reattach our ground onto our outlet here. So let me make all those connections and then we will go up top and get the new outlet installed. Now all the connections have been made. As you can see, we've got our black wire on this side, ground wire, I'm sorry, neutral wire on this side and ground wire has been twisted with the new crimp installed. We are ready to shove these wires back into the box and get the cover put back on. Now for the top outlet, we've already busted out one of the little knockouts in this box here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the wire through, put the box in place, and we'll start screwing this box in place. And it's just like the other ones, it's got the little flip out here. So we just tighten it down and it'll hold it right in place. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Okay, box is installed. We're gonna cut off several inches of this. We're gonna leave it probably about uh, five or six inches sticking out of the box to make our connections. We'll go ahead and get this thing wired up. Get ready to install this outlet, okay? We've got our wires skinned back and we've got a little hook on each end. Uh, notice that we hooked the black wire this way and the, and the white wire this way because we're gonna put it right up here like this and we want it to go in the direction that the screw will hold it down. Now your bigger slot on your outlet, okay? That's always your neutral. The littler um, slot is always the uh, hot wire, the black wire. So the black wire will be attached on this side with the little slot. The uh, neutral wire, white wire, will be attached on either one of these, doesn't really matter, um, on the uh, white side, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, the neutral side, the longer slot. And our ground wire will be hooked right down here where the green nut is. We will make these connections and we'll shove this thing back in here and tighten it down. We'll be pretty much ready to go. Okay, now with the power hooked back on, we wanna double check to make sure we got power properly on each one of our outlets. So you, as you can see, both yellow lights are lighting up and we'll go and check both sides of it just to make sure that looks good. And let's go down below and let's double check our existing outlet as well. And then, yep, that looks good. And that one looks good too. So we're good to go. We can actually put our wall plates back on now and go ahead and mount our TV up here and get this thing up and going. Hey, 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 friends. Hey, we got our project completed now. Television is mounted to the wall and there's no cables hanging down below the television. I think my daughter will be very happy, happy, happy when she comes home and sees this. Friends, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.